Breezy Resale. Follow the hustle. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Reezy, my channel is Reezy Resales. I teach people how to make money outside of the traditional nine to five on this channel. Usually that is Amazon, eBay, reselling, that kind of stuff. Buy it for a dollar, sell it for $10, yard sales, garage sales, etc. But lately, due to the current situation that we're in, things have changed and I'm still trying to provide valuable content to teach others how to make money right now. Today's video and a lot of the videos I've been making lately are about Instacart. Instacart cart is basically uber for grocery shopping you grocery shop for other people and if it's right in your area you can make a lot of money doing it right now personally I'm making about $45 an hour over $300 for every eight hour shift your mileage may vary it's not the same for everybody but today's video is gonna be about how to do double order batches or multiple order batches that's two or three instacart orders in one trip in one batch so right now I just picked up a $55 order that is two people and it's not a lot of units it's at a liquor store so I'm going to BevMo to pick up some alcohol and maybe some non-alcohol for these two individuals and then I'm gonna go drop it off unfortunately the traffic is high today there's a lot of shoppers working so I wasn't able to get a super ideal batch this one has about eight miles of driving so headed into the store show you guys how to do a two order batch on Instacart and then we're gonna go deliver it so let's head over there we're actually extremely close. I was at the Dollar Tree doing some retail arbitrage only about a block away, literally in the plaza next to where this pickup is at, which is great because I saved a lot of time on that. A lot of people have been making a lot of money doing Instacart. I'll show some screenshots here. Boom, boom, bang, 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 bang. <laughs> If you wanna sign up, which I believe is a great opportunity for you or for people that you know, please use my link. It will be right here on the screen and also in the description below. Let's go do this order. We go in, how's that work? You gotta order online, you just can't go in. I'm a delivery service, but that flipboard might have some information. You're doing Instacart? Right All right, talk to you at the Chinese place. Yeah, yeah, I signed up for it. I'm Instacart? Yeah. So I guess as an Instacart shopper, we do get to go in, but only one at a time. Maybe awesome. Our own part, not that one. Okay, cool. I didn't know. <laughs> Sorry about that. So this order is going to take me a lot longer because I've never been in this store in my entire life. So we got some vodka, some wine, some Chardonnay, whiskey, tequila, LaCroix. Let's grab the LaCroix. That looks easy. So you can see the orders are marked as A and B for each different customer. I don't see any LaCroix. Oh, here it is. So passion fruit LaCroix. What times? Got it. So this is for B, lime LaCroix. Also for B, coconut LaCroix. That's also for B, beans, pitted olives. Excuse me, ma'am, do you know where the stuffed olives are at? Awesome, thank you so much. I'll try not to bug you. Ooh, found it. Beans, spicy, pickled. Mr. B, Anigiri blue cheese stuffed olives. Got him. Blue cheese stuffed olives. Got them. What else did they want? Davina Olives Pitted Kalamata. Do you work here? No. Nope. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> Could have fooled me. I hate to bug you, but this is my first time in here and I have no oh, idea where these are. Case. Okay, yeah, it did look like it might be refrigerated. Yeah. Thank you so much. Cheesecase. Is this here? Pitted Kalamata Olives. Got them. Ooh, they don't have a. Let's try something else. Can't find it. No, wait, are these it? Oh, I did find them. Ah, almost gave up. Boom. We're almost done. Oh, no, we're definitely not almost done. Okay, so Sonoma Cure Coast Chardonnay. I literally just got super lucky. Oop, Sonoma Cure Chardonnay, Sonoma Coast. Ooh, they want the smaller one. Cool. So Jameson La Crema Chardonnay. Oh, they're alphabetical. 750 milliliter bottle. Got that. Axios Carneros Chardonnay. I don't think this is it. Let's try this. Got it. Looked totally different. The packaging did not match the image in the app. So now for B, we need Tito's Handmade Vodka and Jameson Irish Whiskey. Whiskies, whiskies. Tito's Handmade Vodka 1.75, is this it? Got it. So now all they need is Jameson Triple Distilled Irish Whiskey. Whiskey. Okay, 
Jameis and triple distilled Irish whiskey. Where is it? Other side maybe? Oh yeah, it's gotta be over here. This also looks different, but I believe this is it. Got it. Okay, so we're now done with B, and we just need to get A, which is sparkling white wine, Chardonnay, and some tequila. So, white wine, tequila, champagne, Pinot, Chardonnay, other whites, Malbec, Moscato, Carneros Creek Chardonnay. Oh man, if you're having trouble, I'm gonna have a lot of trouble. <laughs> There are so many kinds of wine. Red, Syrah, Petit Merlot, Zinfandel. I'm looking for Carneros Creek Chardonnay Reserve. Chardonnay, oh yeah, these are all our Chardonnay. Boom, oh. killed it, thank you. Yeah. So customer A, I'm gonna put their stuff on the top rack. So now we need sparkling white, sparkling white, Rufino Prosecco, PR, sparkling, Rufino Prosecco. Okay, we're getting close, we're getting to Prosecco. Oh God, these are the hardest things to find. Rufino Prosecco, orange label, Rufino Rosé. Okay, so that's kind of what it looks like, Rufino. Rufino Prosecco, where is it? Here's Prosecco. Ha, huh, Rufino Prosecco, found it. Gotcha, baby. Now all we need is two Casamigos tequila. Tequila? Where's the tequila at, ma'am? Tequila, Oh, it's all locked up? Oh, no, no. Okay. Oh, is it alphabetical or anything? You know what, tequilas, I'm not too sure. Okay, I know the wine was, that was very yeah, helpful. That was easy, but I don't know how we have it set up. I'm looking for Casamigos, if you happen to know. And then which one for Casamigos? Two bottles of this, Casamigos tequila. Yeah, $7.50. Okay. And then... Holy ones? moly, that's a $75 bottle. So this one, you can go ahead and take a picture, but then I have to leave it up on the counter for one Okay. Ready. Wait, one more, let me see. Okay, it says wrong, but it's the right yeah, one. Yeah, so I'm gonna I have to force it. Picture. Yeah. La. Cause yeah, because it says 75 right? in the app, so I'm sure that's the right one. Okay. Yeah, with our Casamigos, it always does that to people. Or like to you guys, it always says no. Awesome. All right, two bottles. Two, right? Yep. Yeah. Got it. All right, I'm done. I'll meet you at the front. Oh, okay. So now we're gonna review changes and then go to the checkout. Transitioning the batch order A, which is the small oh, order. Okay. Awesome. Okay, this is all one order? Yeah, those okay. two bottles and then these three and then I have a second order. It is for Instacart, so. And these two bottles for this one? Yep. And we have our own little code too. So cool, yeah. awesome. And thank you for the box too. Yeah. Oh, did you scan this? Or you, okay, cool. Wait, did I do two of the Casamigos? I did. I just didn't put it in the box. Me. <laughs> me too. I have no idea <laughs> what I'm supposed to do in that situation because I already wrote yeah, complete. See, there's five. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Nope. Smaller order. There you go. Cool. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Let's do the second order now. You scanned everything, yeah? yeah. Okay. Do you want these separate, or I can probably put it in there, but then it'll be. Let's just get this in there, and if you need to put one of those in there to keep them from falling over, we could do that. Nice. Awesome, thank you. Yeah. All right, let me just photograph these receipts real quick if you don't mind. I know the time is going by fast, huh? Awesome, well thank you for making my first FO order like super painless. Also, have a great day. Stay safe. Let's go load this in the car. There is. Customer A and customer B. Bottles on bottles during the quarantine. All right, that was fairly painless, even though that was my first time at that store, BevMo. The A and B setup is pretty simple. One customer is A, other customer is B. If you're doing three orders at once, it'll probably be A, B, and C. And I recommend you separate them in your cart somehow, some way, right? So maybe get a hand basket and put that in your cart also and use the upper area of the cart and the lower area of the cart. I got lucky, one of the orders was much smaller, so I just put that in the top area of the cart and the larger order in the bottom area of the cart 
if they were both bigger maybe you could use shopping bags to help you separate them or a hand basket like I said but let's deliver this alcohol to the people that need it because that's very important you got to not only shop but you got to get them the stuff so let me start my screen recording again on my phone and you guys should see that right over here we're gonna swipe to start the delivery to Martha we are going to go drop Martha off her alcohol let's head over there as soon as possible we are now doing a delivery and we've come to a stop make sure my phone doesn't die because my battery is running low hit it with the power brake so we're driving 2.8 miles to drop off the first order. It's a little bit into the hills and it looks like that's gonna take about 10 minutes and then we're gonna drive to the next order. I don't know if you can do one order before the other or if the app dictates which order has to get delivered first. All I did was start delivery and it chose for me. So I'm unsure if I'm able to do that. If you know anything about that more than I do, which is likely since this is my first double order batch comment down below and let me know oops yellow light ah! we made it we barely made it i kind of saw it turn red at the end there but we're good so we're about five minutes out from delivery location number one and then i'm assuming after that i'll say swipe to start delivery number two i'm not sure i'm learning with you guys all at the same time I'm getting hungry though. Need a cliff bar. Definitely need a cliff bar. Gotta buy a box of cliff bars at Costco and put them in the car because those are my chosen snack while Instacarting crunchy peanut butter cliff bars. If you're watching this, send me a box of cliff bars to the PO box. Address is down below. Would really appreciate that. Case of crunchy peanut butter cliff bars in the PO box. That will get me going. What's your favorite go to energy snack while you are doing your gig economy work or hustling? Actually, pretty stoked got everything that both customers wanted I didn't have to substitute or refund a single item almost did because I couldn't find those Kalamata pitted olives I'm sure that's not how you say that found them at the last second one thing is for certain is it takes much longer to shop an order at a store that you're not familiar with the more familiar you are with the store the easier it is it becomes infinitely easier even just my second time at that store will be so much more productive than the first time. I'll understand where the items are on the shelf, how they organize it, etc. For the wines, for example, we're alphabetic, where the whites are, where the reds are, where the Zinfandel is, where the rosé is, where the Chardonnay is, where the champagne is, etc. The better you get at knowing the store layout, the faster you can be. The faster you are, the more deliveries you can do. And the more deliveries you can do, the more money you can make. Pretty simple right there. Driving in the country, deliverance, fun times. It's a whole box full of white wines and some moonshine. They'll be drinking, they'll be thinking, they'll be having a good old time when Reezy comes with the Instacart and delivers all the wine. Trademark, copyright, don't try to steal my new song. Check it out on my SoundCloud. <laughs> I don't know why, but this driving in these back roads makes me think of this type of music. Check it out. I'm driving on the back roads, delivering the goods. It's some alcohol that's going to make you feel good. Oh, I got white wine and tequila, and maybe I got whiskey. And when I deliver it, times will get so frisky. Country bumpkin driving, delivering wines. So people can be surviving. Whoop, past it, we have to go back. Whoop, backing it up. Major key is don't pass your location. I just did. Oh, I was so close though. I went one house too far, I believe. Awesome. For Martha. Is this Martha's Vineyard? <laughs> I got one of those too. I've never been down this road. No, I lived here my entire life. Never been down this road. No, it's not. You go really quickly from being somewhere to being in the wilderness, kind of. Is there a name for this area? Cherryvale. Cool. Feed to tequila. Got it. Is that due to cherries being grown in this area? They used to. You can put it down because we're taking it in there. All right, cool. Just need to scan your driver's license. Coming up. They've made it super convenient for us. Just the us. back of it? Yeah, just the barcode. Like this. Awesome, yeah, got all your information on there, David. Fantastic. Cool, we're good to go. All right. Have a good Thank time. Appreciate it. Have a good time has a different meaning when you're delivering a bunch of alcohol. <laughs> we, are, we already got the food, now we're going to get the stuff from 
right? Yeah, no, my wine consumption has like tripled at least for sure. We gotta stay sane. Have a good day. Thank you. All right, well, that was pretty simple. Standard Instacart delivery as normal. Now that I'm on the second delivery, I'm just gonna swipe to start that delivery. And now we are on our way. We gotta drive a decent way to get here, I think. Let me see, based on the street name, if it is where I think it is, it's gonna be a ways, which is pun intended, I guess, since I'm using ways. It's gonna be a ways. It's gonna be a ways down the road. <laughs> so apparently this area of town, which I've never been in, and it's only about a mile off one of the main streets up into the hills area away from the ocean, is called Cherry Vale. And I guess it was popular for the cultivation of cherries at one point in time. This area that I live in, Santa Cruz, Soquel, Aptos area, is very popular for agricultural stuff. They grow a lot of lemons here. There, that lady has a lemon tree. Everybody has a lemon tree in Santa Cruz. There's lemons everywhere. But apparently, they were popular for cherries at one point. A little bit of local history for y'all country bumpkins that are along on this road. Am I the only person that goes on a drive and sees houses and then immediately wants to go on Zillow and look them up? I definitely want to go on Zillow to look up almost everything that I see. Maybe I could live out here in this area. I could fit in with the bumpkins. <laughs> All right, we are now getting some signal. If you see on my app screen right now, it says something went wrong. That's because when I started the second delivery, I did not have any signal. So I'm gonna go back to Instacart and trigger that ways to open again and hopefully get some actual directions. You can't see it right now because the camera's facing me, but we're back into the downtown Soquel area. There's an elementary school right there. There's regular houses right here. Crazy, just a quarter mile down the road, you are in the straight country. I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. Not a big fan of cities. As long as I got good internet and I can get everything I want and need, that's how I like to do it. So it looks like we are driving 3.4 miles away to drop off the second order. First order went down, there was no cash tip, that's all right. It's not to be expected, but is to be appreciated. I like to call cash tips unicorns because they don't happen all the time. They're pretty rare, but it does happen. Usually in one eight hour day of Instacart, I will get at least one cash tip. My biggest cash tip so far was a $50 cash tip. And that's pretty amazing because it was like a $30 payout Instacart order, meaning I made 30 bucks on the Instacart order, and I believe there was a $10 in-app tip as well. And then when I got there, the woman asked if I could help her, it was an older woman, and she asked me if I could help her move some gym equipment from the side yard into the garage. And so I put my muscle to work for about one and a half minutes and moved that into her garage for her, and then she gave me a $50 cash tip, which is pretty amazing. That was awesome. I'll never forget you, first $50 cash tip lady. You are appreciated. It says we're 10 minutes out from the second delivery. So by now, I'm pretty sure I'm probably into this delivery at least 45 minutes, if not an hour. We're actually going to the complete opposite side of town. We are on the far east side. We're actually in Soquel. Now we're gonna go the west side of Santa Cruz, a little bit up in the hills. We're not actually going to the west side, I lied. We're going into the hills near Midtown. This section of Santa Cruz is called the Banana Belt. I actually used to live on this street that I'm delivering on. The Weirdest thing, I always think that when I'm wearing the chess camera that people are gonna think or say something about it. What I've kind of learned is that GoPros are really ubiquitous. They're kind of normal. People are used to seeing them. They don't really think about it being a production or they're worried about being on camera. It's just a GoPro. People don't take it seriously. I actually have yet to get any kickback from any store workers or employees or customers or anything for wearing the chess cam or having GoPro on the dash while doing deliveries. I think a lot of Uber drivers have GoPros on their dash also and they record their trips for insurance reasons. I think that kind of contributes to part of the reason why people aren't so concerned being filmed with a GoPro. Little do they know that GoPro got 4K. So this area of town is over here by the disc golf course. The De La Viega disc golf course here in Santa Cruz is world class. They actually host the PDGA Disc Golf Association Tournament Championship here at our course. So it is one of the finest disc golf courses 
courses in America, if not the world. Pretty, pretty fun time. If you ever come to Santa Cruz and you're into disc golf or you want something to do that's not too expensive, because it's free except for parking, go to Played Again Sports, pick up some discs, go disc golfing. Super duper fun. But I advise you, make sure you bring a few discs because you are bound to lose a couple. You're gonna throw a disc off a ravine into a canyon. You're gonna lose a disc or two, I promise you. Ooh, look at that, homie got a dope skate box. Eight foot long, 18 inch high skate box. The weather is really nice today too. We're five minutes out from completing this delivery. Very thankful to have Instacart as a way to make income during this time. If you follow me, you know I sell used books most of the time. But right now, we are unable to get any supply at all. We cannot get any truckloads of books, which means we cannot sell. Amazon actually recently re-enabled our ability to send books to Amazon FBA to send most of them in. About 95% of what we have, we can send in right now. But since we can't get any more books right now, I really don't see the purpose in sending them in. We can't get any more. Our employees are not gonna be coming in to work right now during the crisis. What's the point of sending those books in to Amazon? We're just gonna finish the work and then be sitting there with nothing to do. So I might as well leave it for when the employees do come back so that they will have something to do. Let me show you guys what it looks like here over in this canyon. Again, off of the beaten path and into the hills a little bit with this delivery. Liable to lose signal on this delivery for sure. We are 0.9 miles away. Let me flip the camera around for you guys. Look at all these trees, man. Sometimes I go places and they have no trees and I just feel weird. I'm just so used to seeing a lot of trees like this growing up here. All right, we're two minutes away. Man, I used to live on this road, me and Rosa, when we first moved back to Santa Cruz around the year 2000, and we were check to check back then. And I remember Rosa used to skate to work down that road that I was just driving on because I would use the car to take Alyssa to kindergarten. All right, here we go. All right, let's go deliver this puppy. Good, how are you? Good, all right. Is that it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just start right, everyone. Awesome. Thanks, man. Yeah, no worries, man. Something's got to keep us safe. Yeah, right, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Have Thanks, a good dude. day. Oh, shoot. Forgot to scan the driver's license. Let me go scan the driver's license. All right, so now I'm done. Don't forget to scan the customer's ID because you can't complete the trip without it, right? So now, trip has been completed and we're on our way to go do some more Instacarting. That was actually remarkably easy for a two batch order. The problem with that order was, that it's not really a problem, it just was a lot of driving. Both customers were kind of up in the hills, they weren't really close to each other at all. They were about 10 miles apart from each other. But at the same time, one of the orders was really small, so I was able to get that done really quickly. Let me go look and see if I can see what time I started that trip. That actually was not bad, guys. That order from the time I accepted it till the time I finished the delivery took one hour and two minutes. So that was a $54.80 order if they don't remove their tip because I found everything that was there. Only $18.52 of that was batch payment and $36.28 was tip. $10 from one customer and $26.28 from the second customer. So provided they don't remove their tips and I don't get tip baited, this is gonna be a $54.80 order. Now, if all I was to get was the batch payment and no tip, if both customers remove their tips, that would make it down to $18.52, which is not really that good for an hour, considering I had to go inside stores and be around people and other things. If you're only gonna make $18.50 an hour, you probably might as well just do DoorDash, right? So click up here to check out the video that I just did on DoorDash. I did an order in 35 minutes and I made $9.50, and that's comparable to what I would make on this order without tip. However, I I do have faith in people. People are good and people do not remove the tip very often. It happens less than 5% of the time for me. Pretty much confident that's gonna be a $54.80 order for about an hour of time, an hour and two minutes. That's actually really good. Now I also have to drive back
back to town, right? To do another order or back to my house if I'm done. So you might wanna add, you know, five or 10 minutes to that. It's about 55 bucks in one hour, but there's also gonna be another 10 minutes of driving back. Like that means I stopped at the customer's house and I'm not actually done there. I gotta get back either to my house or back into a central location to accept another order. Overall, it went very, very smooth. I could see myself doing two order batches often. I'm definitely not worried about them now that I've done one. And maybe even a three order batch, right? A triple order batch, no problem. A, B, C, we got it. If you guys wanna sign up for Instacart, remember to use my link. It's right here on the screen and it is also down in the description. I appreciate that very much. I am sharing 20% of the affiliate commission with those of you that complete your required batches and earn the commission for me. Some of you guys, it's only gonna be 50 or 100 bucks, but some people's affiliate commission, depending on how bad Instacart needs their drivers, is gonna be 1,500 to $2,500. So if you complete your batches and I get a $2,500 bonus for referring you, then you're gonna get $500 from me. To qualify, you have to use my affiliate link and then you also have to shoot me an email at resells at gmail.com. I'll put that on the screen right here. Make sure you include the subject line Instacart. In the body of the message, put your first name, your last name, the city that you're operating in, and your PayPal or your Venmo email address. Also let me know if it's PayPal or Venmo. And if I get a commission, I will then go search my email for that person. If you've sent me a message, I will locate it, and then I will break bread with you and send you your payment. So make sure you do that. Hopefully this video was helpful for you and it got you guys over your fear of doing multiple order batches. It's not really a big deal it could be scary but it's not that scary especially if you get to see it and know how it works if you're still super new to instacart and you haven't even gan doing your first order yet make sure you click up here to check out another video i did where i wore the chest cam just like today but i went through a very large full shopping order and i get a lot of grocery products a big order right that will let you guys see just how the process works and everything hopefully you guys are keeping it all together during this time and hopefully these videos can help you guys make some money because I know a lot of people are laid off. Please like the video if you like it. Please subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this. If you guys like the Instacart videos, comment down below, make more Instacart videos because I enjoy making them. I'm making money actually doing the Instacart and I'm making money off of the YouTube videos and it's helping you guys. So it's a win, win, win. It's very fulfilling. I've gotten so many messages from so many of you guys that are being helped by these videos and I really appreciate you guys sending me that feedback. It really helps to keep me motivated and keep me going. So thanks for watching guys. Tune into the next one. Until then, peace. You'll get strangled to death as I mangle your flesh. Lights on, night con, which angle is best? I put you in the frame and let you hang with the rest. Call it photo finish as we diminish your last breath. And if the Sabbath is the day of the Lord, then my style of rap is like the way of the sword. Better sharpen your blade, I'm coming straight for your door. I see the devil in your